Hello, welcome back. DJ Vic Vapor with you. Bitwig Studio 2 Beginner's Course. And uh, in this lesson, we're going to take a look at um, editing and rearranging an audio loop. So we're going to add by right click, add audio track. And I will. Yeah, let's just go right here. On this uh, particular clip, now I can just hit the letter B. It's going to bring up our menu of sounds. And let's get rid of beat port, or not get rid of, but. Let's close it out and let's find something else to work with here. So what do we got going on down here a little bit further? Um, what do I want? To, okay, so let's see what's in here. Mm, no. No. So here's a good, good chance for us to... Uh, learn by using the menu and I just want to clap loop so I hit clap and it's going to narrow things down for me so let's see drum machines no construction kits uh, 90s underground what's in there no not quite what I'm looking for we need uh, let's see Let's get rid of clap up here and let's see if we can find something different. What does erupt have for us? Drums. find something. One shots, no, I don't want one shots. What is Jomo? That's, what do you guys got? Noise loops, waveform, machine loops. What's this? No. Livid, what do you guys, it's instruments, prime loops. Wonder what they got for us. Chill, pure house vocals. Some claps. I'll go ahead and select that one for the sake of time. So we've got this guy. I can double click again to open it up down here. And I want to just see it in the edit view. So let's just select edit and we'll get rid of our device. And now we've just got this guy. We'll zoom in a little bit here. So nice visual view of the uh, material. And we don't have it selected. So let's go back to arrange and push play and I'll solo it and back to edit. All right, now we're playing it. So let's say we want to chop this up and arrange it, even though it's a pretty cool loop, let's just kind of find a way to make it our own. So we can do that through our editing tools um, of course, you can do it by, you know, sending it off to a drum machine sliced up and kind of mangle it that way. But I've got a whole nother course on the drum machine that you can focus on if you want to learn those techniques. This is more about just working with the audio and working with our tools. So right over here, you've got an arrow that is showing our tool here. So I can select on it and then I can pick the tool that I want to work with. But you can also see it's got one, two, three, four, five right next to it. So what's cool about those numbers are they correspond to your keyboard. So watch this guy change. I'm going to hit number two, number three, four, and five. So pretty easy shortcut. I'm telling you the workflow in this DAW is insane. 
All right, so we're going to hover over this guy, and I'm just going to hit number five, which is my knife tool, and I'm just going to chop and create individual audio events. Now, each little section is a new audio event in and amongst itself, and I am not doing it outside of anything other than just random right now. I'm just kind of slicing up these guys in different areas here so that we can come back and rearrange and have a lot of fun with it. So let's go here. And then finally, oh, let's try this guy. So I will hit number one now, and I'm back to my pointer tool. So one of the important things I didn't mention that it makes this a little bit easier to do is if you go down here to the bottom right, and I've got mine set at 1 16th notes. So currently everything snaps to the grid in 1 16th. You know, you can change that by going up and down, and you can have different functions and different snapping elements. So my knife tool was snapping, you know, at the 16th. So I don't need grid offset and I don't need events. So I'll keep those out, but just be aware of being able to bring up this menu here and have a snap to grid and then change the snapping, uh, signature or size. So now we've got everything done, everything chopped up and I've got my pointer tool, but if I double click, well, I don't want to do that. I just want to select this. All right, so if I select this, it's now an individual audio event. So what you'll see is Inspector will update for each individual event now. So if I wanted to come over here and I wanted to, say, mute one, or if I wanted to change the pitch of one of these, you know, or maybe create a little fade in and fade out to keep uh, any popping from happening within the um, different events as they transition, you can work with that inspector, but you can work with it now as each one to treat each one of these as an individual audio event. So let's kind of move some stuff around here and chop some stuff up. So let's say we get rid of um, this event altogether. So I'll just hit delete and that guy's gone. And we will take this guy. And now you can see also outside of inspector, I'll go ahead and get rid of it for now. Um, you can see now when I'm selecting these different events that we've got a button up here updating as con uh, context sensitive or context sensitive. And it's asking us uh, out of this menu, what do I want to do with that one specific event? And that one I want to reverse. So a reverse is something I like to do quite often. So I'm going to pin this guy. Now I, I won't see that unless I'm into you know, an audio situation. See how it goes away. I select the time and it's, it's updating to a time. I go back to audio. Now it's saying, Hey, you told us that you like to reverse things. So here's that pinned feature. So let me select this guy, hit reverse. And we will, let me see, let's get one more. Um, let's reverse this last one. All right. So those guys are reversed. Let's, um, let's select this guy and make it a little bit shorter. So I'll hover over right here and just bring it back right into there. And I'll actually drag the whole thing forward. So we move that around a little bit and let's just kind of hear what we've done. Let's do something down here. So I'm going to hit number five, get my knife tool, select there back to number one pointer tool and let's reverse that guy Whoop. command Z and brings everything back or you can do a undo redo so select reverse oh mm -hmm. I see what's going on all right so let's go over here shorten this guy a little bit move it over this way and now let's hear what we got And let's go back to the uh, range view. Hit my tab button. And let's hear it in the context of our scene now. Oh, I had that soloed, sorry about that. Now we can hear it.
So pretty cool stuff. Really, really easy uh, workflow and way to mangle up some loops and kind of get in there and make them your own. So let's move on to the next lesson and take a look at how we can edit loops in layers.